What's up guys? Today we're going to be going over uh, my thoughts on the um, T-Motor Velox V3 that I now run on my 5 inch builds um, versus the T-Motor Velox V2s that I used to run on my 5 inch builds. Um, stay tuned, thanks for watching. So we'll go ahead and start off with the, uh, the motor weights. The uh, V3 is 35.4 grams and the V2 is 34.3 grams. Now as far as the weights go, I'm going to throw a picture up right here. Um, the pink motor is the V3, the blue motor is the V2, and you'll notice that the V3 actually has a lot thicker bell than the V2 does, and the wiring on them is it's a completely different type of winding. Um, the wire T-Motor claims is thermostable. Um, it just helps them keep cool when you're flying, which last summer I had all kind of issues with the V2s getting hot. I'd fly like two packs and they'd be too hot to touch. Um, with the V3s, that hasn't been an issue yet, but it's also not summertime, so we'll see with that. Um, the V3s, they seem like they're a little bit higher KV than the V2s are. They're both advertised to be 2550 KV, but the V3s, there, there's a noticeable pitch difference, and they definitely have more power than the V2s do. Um, they, they carry the run cam orange a whole lot better. I'd imagine if you're carrying a GoPro or something heavier than the orange is, that the V3s would probably be the better choice of motor for you just because of that power difference. Now as far as durability, I feel like the V3s, they're going to have a little bit more durability than the V2s just because they have a thicker bell. Um, I've never had an issue with either motor just because I fly over dirt and in my yard and at different parks. I'm not out in like bandos or on an asphalt parking lot, things like that. Um, I don't really break arms or break motors, so I'm not the best person to ask about that. Um, as far as how they fly, the V3s, I would say they fly better than the V2s. They just feel more locked into me with my rates and my style of flying and all that. Um, the V2s, they, they feel kind of sloppy. But I'd imagine with the right tune, they could be made to feel locked in too. Um, as far as price goes, the V3s, they are a couple bucks more than the V2s. I would say it's worth it just because they're already cheap. I think the V3s themselves are like 15 bucks a motor. Um, I'd pay the couple extra bucks just to not have to deal with the overheating issues that I've had with the V2s. And I guess that leaves us with um, which motor do I prefer to fly? I, honestly, I prefer the, the V3s over the V2s just because they have that little bit of extra kick and they seem to stay a whole lot cooler than the V2s do. Um, overall, I think they're a great motor for $16. I would definitely buy them over the V2s. Um, I'm going to throw some flight footage up for you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and... Uh, Peace.